Hi everybody, Doug Scockle here. Welcome to part two of the uh, modified triangle offense uh, for youth basketball. Uh, the first uh, video that we had, of course, uh, showed you the offense itself. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to show you all the breakdown drills uh, that we use to teach the offense. And I think you're going to really enjoy it. As I've said in a previous video, um, we don't do any other kinds of passing, dribbling drills or anything else. We get plenty of passing, dribbling, shooting, and cutting and it's all part of our offense when we use these particular drills. So let's take a look at those drills and I think you're going to find them pretty enjoyable. Actually, before we get to those drills, I just wanted to mention briefly uh, about the importance of having baskets uh, at the correct height for different age levels. And I'm going to superimpose on the screen here in just a moment. Uh, we'll have uh, what I call recommended heights. Uh, I did this for my son uh, as he went through uh, uh, the different grade levels uh, uh, by following this program. Uh, my son was able to, he was a, a first team All-State guard. His team won the Colorado State uh, High School uh, a state championship in his senior year. Uh, and uh, he was a really an outstanding shooter. He was, uh, uh, one year he uh, got to shoot halftime of the Utah Jazz NBA game for the uh, state championship in the old Pepsi Hot Shot shooting contest and he won that. And then the next two years, he got to shoot at halftime of the Denver Nuggets uh, NBA game and won the Colorado State title uh, two years in a row. So uh, the biggest thing that we did, and everybody says, well, you, you know, of course he was really good. His dad was a coach. I honestly didn't coach him that much, all right? But what I did was this. Every April 1st, we readjusted the height uh, for the basket for him to shoot on. On April 1st of... Uh, his second grade year, we put the basket at 7 feet 6 inches. And it wasn't that that was a magic number. What we found is that <clears throat> little kids, and we used a regulation ball, not a, not a small ball. I didn't want to ha have him have to adjust to that later on. But uh, we used a regulation ball, but we got the basket low enough. And if 7-6 and if is, is causing uh, you know, your youngster to strain and, and not have good form, uh, then lower it, you know, put it down even further. Now, what I found is that little kids can mimic they see what a, you know, what a good shot looks like. They actually can mimic that if they can handle the strength requirement. But that is a problem. And, and uh, so you'll get kids that, uh, everybody, you know, some people try to be official. Well, we got to have it at 10 feet. And then kids throw two-hand, underhand shots, or they throw, they make a two-hand shot. And when they get stronger, unfortunately, those habits learned at an early age stay with them and really create some problems for them. So again, April 1st, uh, we're going to be at 7 feet 6 inches uh, in second grade. Third grade, we're going to go to 8 foot 2. Fourth grade, we're going to go to 8 foot 10. Uh, fifth grade, we're going to go to 9 foot 6. And we didn't go to 10 feet until April 1 of his sixth grade year. And, uh, but it, it, it really enabled him to have a lot of success. The, you know, again, the only other thing that I did, I did coaching, but I would go out and play after school. Uh, we'd go out and play. And didn't instruct. We just played, and and uh, you know I didn't try to block his shot. And then you know we played one on one, but I wouldn't block his shot. You want kids to have success. We had a next door neighbor uh, that had a ten foot basket, and the kid was in third grade. And I watched him go out one day, and he struggled for about five minutes trying to shoot at a ten foot basket. In five minutes, he was done. Went back in the house. Uh, uh, two days later, I invited him over to our place on the seven foot six inch basket. And we couldn't keep him away from our place, uh, which was great, uh, but because he could have success. I think that's a real important part. Now let's get to those drills. All right, start your drill. All right, so we call this uh, X-cut shooting. You see what we're doing right now is the wing passes the ball into the center, gets a handoff. Second ball is handed to the center, and we can hand off to the rover, so we get a lot of shots off. And then the, the, uh, the people in the center position just tra trade places. So there's a shot by the wing. Here comes a shot by the rover. And we go back out, and we, run, we just keep running through this, and we get a lot of shots off of this. Okay? All right. All right, here we go. Two man shooting, you're gonna go. Two man, so we're just gonna run two man outside handoffs. We just take turns. Okay, all right, here we go. Morgan, make sure you're getting in here. Okay, here it is, two man. Here comes an outside handoff, that's it. She'll go in, she'll go in to the rebound, that's it. Goes in the rebound after the handoff. Goes in the rebound after the handoff. We're ready to rebound, good, that's it. So we just keep it. We've got all of our kids playing the point spot right here because they could end up there at one time or another in our offense. 
All right, so we're taking a look at our post play right now. So what we uh, tell our, or excuse me, our, well, post play, but it's our center. All right, so I want number nine, Caitlin. I want goal posts up here right now. So it looks like you got football goal posts with her arms right there. All right, if the defense, very slowly, if the defense tries to get by on that side, she's going to step slide with her in two steps, and no more than two steps. If the defense tries to go this way, you know, go ahead, Morgan. She, she just keeps step sliding. Okay, keep her behind you. That's it, good. So she's just trying to stop right there. All right, now we're going to make a pass into you. Jump to catch. Go post. Go post, jump to catch. Good, all right. That's good right there. All right, so again, uh, what we talk to our players about is we want to be able to catch the ball with safety. And so she's, her step sliding is to shield the defender off behind her. She jumps in the air to catch the ball, so she comes down on both feet rather than one foot and then the other. She comes down on one and then the other. She has the possibility of traveling. This way, both feet hit together and uh, uh, she'll be able to pivot in either direction. Don't have to worry about. Uh, don't have to worry about uh, traveling this situation. All right. So we work with our uh, wings, actually all of our perimeter players, to be able to, to feed the, the post. And what we really like to do is just go over the top of the defender. And, and so we want to throw a pass. We want to throw it too high, where the other, uh, the defensive uh, post player could knock it away. So she wants to throw it over the, uh, just a little, kind of a looping pass, just like that. And it allows her teammate then to catch the ball in front of her rather than if she throws it up high, the defense behind might be able to bat the ball away. All right, here we go. And what we're working on right now is go ahead and shoot it, Caitlin. What we're working on right now is teaching the kids how to uh, fake that handoff. They fake it and get their own shot. So again, it, you know, it becomes a shooting drill. All of our shooting drills are parts of our offense. So. Uh, it really blends nicely. We get a lot of passing and shooting and dribbling in the in our different uh, drills here uh, because we uh, simply make it as you know, part of our offense. So we, we learn the offense while we're going there too. Okay, we're ready to go, girls. All right. So now we're going to feed from the rover spot again. We're going to fake, and the center is going to look for a shot for themselves right here. So again, with every one of our shooting drills. A lot of times we'll do this, we'll hand off, you know, of course, to those cutters, but we also need our centers to know that you can fake a handoff and then look for something for you as well. And when you fake that handoff, you think your defender is trying to help on the cutter, and uh, we, end up getting a, uh, we end up getting a nice shot for our center in that situation. So we're running on both sides here. All right, here we go. Go ahead, begin. All right, go, Sissa. There you go. All right, so we've got two drills uh, right now going at the same time. We do this in our pregame warm-up. And what we do is we've got the triangle handoff drill over here. You can see it's the drill we ran earlier. Okay, and so the wing passes and gets a handoff. We get another ball to the center and she hands to the rover coming out of the corner. And then out here up front, I've got our point guards running a two-man handoff game. So the, 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 the point guards are, are getting uh, you know, the, the kinds of uh, game shots that they're going to see in a game, which is usually going to come off of that two-man game. And the wing and the rovers are getting uh, their kinds of shots here also. 